Hey everyone. Hello, I'm here in my shop, Uniquely You Design. Um, today is Sunday, 12, 17. I've probably been here for a couple of hours and it is uh, December the 1st. Well, I'm just uh, giving you guys an update of what I'm doing and just how things going with the business and everything else that I'm working on. Well, I've been working full time at my job. Um, I talked to you guys about that. I have a new job that I work at a uh, thrift store here full time um, for extra money. You know, um, I just been just so tired. And uh, tomorrow I was going to work on my off day, but I just said, you know, I need to work here at the shop. And I need to just um, get caught up what I need to do for my business, Uniquely You. So today I just came back finishing making more tags. I, I'm making as much as possible. But before I left last Sunday from the shop, I wanted to make some more uh, uh, paper tags. And that's why I want to show you guys what I did. I had punched out. I decided to use some recycle, recycle some um junk mail paper the newspaper that come in the mail and I want to make I want to show you guys you see that little rose I want to make some more of those little paper roses um and I had cut out uh, punched out with my uh, puncher some uh, some of these from my flower puncher wherever it's at I don't know right now I'm probably got to wait. I'm going to reach over here and grab it. So sorry that I'm getting out of frame for a couple of seconds. So I got my little basket here that I brought. So here's the punch that I use to uh, cut out these, and they're just from the uh, the newspaper that you get a sales paper. That you get in the mail and I'm just using this I'm not going to keep it I'm going to paint it so tomorrow I'm going to be working here all day so I'm going to probably get dropped off here about 6 in the morning and work maybe until that till I get tired maybe until the evening or 4 I don't know yet so we'll see how I feel I got a uh, love seat here so if I get tired I can just always take a nap on my love seat but that's what I'm doing right now. I'm going to make those little flowers. These little. Those flowers. And I think I made this with the paper that. That uh, the printing paper. The recyc I recycled some printing paper that I had. And I made these for the tags. And I don't know which items I'm going to put these on. The paper ones. These roses. I made some more of these roses of course. We're making like tons and tons of those. And I have fabric flowers and stuff that I'm putting on the tags. The tags are the little tags that's going to be hanging down from the clothing. So that's what I'm doing. I have other punches here too. I have my circle punch but I'll tell you what I did wrong. And I messed up my circle punch. I had um, tried to cut some fabric with it. And I'm going to see does it work right here while I'm talking to you guys on camera. Because I haven't used it in a long, long time. This one. So I'm going to see. And I try using it with some, um, just being just curious and seeing can I cut some, some fabric with it. And, oh, it works. They cut out the circles. See? So I might make a lot of little circles. I'm using that to so okay it didn't work before I don't know what happened but it just wasn't cutting and then I have this one this um, puncher I bought these a few years ago I want to get more for scrap you know when I make my flowers and stuff but I like to catch these on sale because they're kind of expensive I try to I bought all of them from Joann's but working at thrift store has its advantages because I, I work in production and I work in the bed and bath and in sewing and knitting session. So I price a lot of stuff. So, you know, but I have to wait a few days to um, 
here. I just punched those. So I think I'm going to sit here and do a lot of this. But this probably wish I would have brought more paper with me. More of this recycled paper. I'm just going to paint it. And then um, use some of my little uh, brats like I did before and stick it in the middle and just scrunch it up and make fluffy flowers from it. So I'm going to make a lot of these. I already made a stack of um, of these. I made a stack of these already. Let's see. So I'm just going to uh, use all the paper up and make all those today. And I have some smaller ones too. It's like this. But it's smaller. Let me see. And this is the same punch but smaller so I'm gonna get some more of these and just um, and just sit here and make a lot of them because I want to make 10 more roses I try to make as um, many tags as possible when I'm here because when I'm ready to tag my stuff they are already uh, the tags are ready and I found where I put all my little teeny weeny pins safety pins and I was going through my jewelry all my jewelry that I want to my best of my best stuff that I want to uh, have on display so because you remember I took a whole lot of stuff out because I didn't want um, I wanted some things that I love not the stuff that I liked you know, because when I was doing shows, I take a month and just make a lot of product and, you know, some stuff that I was just liking. And I just say, you know, this will work for now just to make a quick sale. But I want the best of my be best of the best stuff for now. But now that's what I'm working on today. So I don't have a lot to show you guys what I'm doing. So I'm just uh, sitting here. Uh, looking at some videos and stuff so watching some of my favorite people videos just staying updated with them and seeing what they're doing and get inspired through them so and just trying to stay encouraged you know I'm gonna show you the little pins that I'm talking about these little bitty pins that I'll stick through I put the ribbon but I'm going to get one of those uh, little uh, basing guns and for the plastic tab so I can stick it through the clothes because that's what I'll have at the at the uh, store that I work at uniquely I keep on saying uniquely but it's unique thrift store I don't know if you guys have one like I said before my other video in your town I'm in Minneapolis Minnesota we have them a lot of places here that is a huge thrift store it's the main thrift store that everybody goes to so but you know what at the thrift store that I work at I've been uh, coming across a lot of Louis Vuitton and coach some Gucci but mainly Louis Vuitton and coach purses authentic purses and I had uh, a Prada purse two Prada but the lady um, one of the ladies that worked there in the back with me she worked with the shoes and she, one of the purse was a real Prada and the other one wasn't but you know it was a lady that came in the store and she wanted to buy a lot of uh, you know name brand purses and sell it on eBay and I told her I was like that Wednesday the day before Thanksgiving a whole lot of uh, at least four coaches came across me because I was sorting it and I'm like wow these are real coach purses so and I said well you have to like we when we push our card out I don't mind when people look on my card because it's going to have the sale anyway before I even put it on a hang it up on a rack or whatever so if they want to look through my card it doesn't bother me you know so I told her I say well just um Stick, stick around the store and shop around and then when you see one of us with the cart before we hang it up you can look on it and see uh, what we have you know um, with the purses or the shoes or something it was some $1,100 shoes that came in the store they sell they put them on display for $50 it was like you know how the cow with the hair and stuff it was black and white and it was some booties some like three inch heel boots half a little booty shoes and um we sell we put them in a case when it's really really expensive items and we'll mark it up like you know i mean if it's eleven hundred dollars you get it for fifty dollars that's a great deal great deal you know so a lot of times you find some spines that's absolutely incredible at the thrift store you know it's just like a treasure hunt you just 
you know go there we got people that come there every day because i used to shop at the thrift store every day uh one of my favorite stores was the thrift store uniquely unique thrift store and it was joanne fabrics of course then nordstrom's rack i uh, love nordstrom's rack and and then it was Marshalls and TJ Maxx that I love shopping at. But and then I go to this antique thrift store that I love because you can like will and deal bargains with them when you find cool stuff. But I get like a, a huge percentage off since I work there. So um, that's the best thing about it, you know. But yeah, I'm just getting some work done. I know I'm sounding a little tired because I am. I'm rested though. I'm just my body from doing all that manual labor and hauling, and pulling, and tagging, and sorting. And it's just, it is really a lot of work that goes into production at a thrift store. So I'm just sitting here trying to get enough stuff done so my business could still, when I'm ready to do my own show, I'm, I'm still trying to figure out how I'm going to do this big show next year sometime. I got all the people that I want to be part of the show. I, I know they're going to say yes. So it's just that um, figuring out the venue and the cost of that and some of my main people that I want to work for me one person really I want to produce the whole thing for me she is a producer anyway with music so uh, for her to produce the whole thing for me it'll be awesome I talked to her I haven't talked to her since 2012 but I told her when I'm ready to do it I will call her and lay out the whole plan so this is going to take at least six months to plan this whole thing so if i decide i'm going to do it it have to be in january because i want it to be ready by june or early july to do the show you know have everybody in their position ready to go so so far i got some people in mind i just haven't presented it to them i'll mention it to them but you know i just wanted to be grounded and rooted before i even present and know that it's ready to go you know um but that's about it um that i'm doing here today is warm it's really warm in the, in the shop last week i was freezing i kept trying to turn the heat up and it wouldn't go up but now it was warm and i want to show you something that i did too you know, a lot of times I, I will recycle certain stuff, and I like to recycle my my jars that, like my uh, preservatives or pickles or whatever comes in, and I keep them and I use them for different stuff. So I couldn't find my uh, coffee cup, but I was in the car, and I didn't feel like going down to the car and get it before I went to church, and I know I was going to be bringing some coffee with me to my shop. So I put some inside one of the jars, and I don't have to worry about it spilling or anything sometimes that little sippy part spills out so I'm gonna start doing this and bring my coffee cup and then I have my coffee and I had two jars of it as you see one is already drank up <laughs> so yeah so that's what you know you guys I'm just sharing this with you guys because you can keep your you can put whatever you want in it you know you you know you can put buttons fill it up with buttons or you know whatever I put sometimes and on my counter at home by the coffee maker I fill one with sugar and then one with like the sweet and low little packets of sugar and I might have one with creamer inside of it and you know and I have them like three or so I used to have a whole huge collection of these and I just kept them all but I threw a lot of them away because I thought you know I was being a little too corny but then I say you know something I'm gonna do me forget if somebody else be like why don't you just buy the jar because I can recycle these and use these jars right so forget what people think oh well um, I'm not being cheap it's just that I just thought it was a cool idea and when a lot of times when I'm on I'm watching YouTube and they'll show you how what you can do with um, household things that you throw away and why I throw away is a good glass jar it has a lid and you know make it happen right so that's about it that I'm doing here I'm going to finish making 10 more roses I only did three and probably cut out some more do some prep work for the stuff that I'm going to be doing here tomorrow and whenever I get a chance to I gotta get a new video camera because when I told you my other video camera you can record but you can't see out of it or you can't see what you're recording 
so I need to get a new one and then I can record my new uh, vintage sewing machine well not new but it's new to me vintage sewing machine that I found at a thrift store about a month and a half or so ago it's been a while but yeah I think I got it early in October and it was a great find and it, in really good condition I, it's, it's workable too so I can use it uh, it's at home in my sewing studio at home so I'm just dragging on so I'm I'm going to talk to you guys later and God bless and thank you guys who have subscribed to me and um, anybody else that want to subscribe to me I would love for you to you know to subscribe to me watch my videos and get some insight like I get insight from you I, I've su subscribed to a lot of people so thank you so much for watching those of you who are watching God bless and I'll talk to you soon bye bye